Hey guys, uh, my name's Chuck, and uh, welcome to another episode of Tool Time. Um, tonight we're going to actually go on a little field trip, um, and uh, we're going to go to a friend's shop, and uh, he's going to, or I'm going to, he didn't want to be on camera, uh, but I'm going to uh, show an optical comparator. Um, I've seen it in his shop, and uh, I've never used one. I don't know much about them, so I got a little bit of an education, and uh, the video tonight will um, hopefully pass on a little bit of an education onto you guys also about it, about the comparator. Um, but I wanted to, I wanted to uh, mention a couple of things uh, prior uh, before we go into the video itself. Um, my friend Carl, that, that we're going to go over to his shop, um, he's one of the many that I've met through my machinist hobby. And this, my hobby started a couple, couple of years back and I've met some very, very good people and, uh, and people that have become very close friends. Um, share a story about Carl. Um, we live parallel blocks and uh, oh maybe we're 800 yards apart from each other uh, our blocks uh, we've both uh, he grew up in the city uh, i've been living in my house for 32 years uh, we've probably passed each other somewhere in the grocery store or something but I happened to stop over at his house on a garage sale one day and uh, single car garage and uh, had some various items some some, I'm in construction, some construction items, some machinist items, and we got to talking and a little bit of chat here and there and looking at items. And uh, I mentioned that I lived, you know, a parallel block over and, and uh, that I had a shop and I had a lathe and a mill. And we were kind of still chatting. And all of a sudden, Carl became very quiet. And uh, I, I kind of assumed that I stepped in some doo doo there and made a mistake of something that I had said. And then he glanced at me and he says, well, he says, do you want to see my shop? And of course I said, yes. And so we walked around behind the house and there's a, about a 1500 square foot shop. He opened up the door and it was, I yelled Valhalla. Uh, there in front of me was two lathes, a Graciano and a Monarch. There was engravers uh, or, or uh, pantographs. Uh, maybe there was another three lays, uh, a couple of mills, the Arco machines, um, and uh, he gave me a shop tour that day. And I'm a I'm a really a fortunate fella. Uh, we became very good friends, and we have a friendship, a friendship that I cherish, and uh, we have a friendship that we're there to help each other no matter what. Um, I nicknamed him Mr. Wizard. The guy's amazing what he can do and how smart he is. Uh, he was an electrical uh, electrician by trade, uh, but uh, he's been writing theoretical uh, papers on camshaft grinding and designing camshaft grinding machines for model engines and uh, quite an interesting fella. And uh, we have a friendship that uh, we're there for each other and there's no reciprocity. Uh, you do something for the other guy because you want to do it and there's no payback. I don't want any payback if I help him and, and I know he doesn't want any payback if he helps me. He's helped, he brought, helped me move my surface grinder here and he helped me move my bandsaw and I've gone over and done various things with him and we have a lot of fun together and uh, uh, I just want to thank him for allowing me to uh, go over to his shop tonight and uh, show you the optical comparator. and. Uh, uh, and explain it to me. Uh, I've seen it there, but I've never seen one in use, and uh, we'll get a little explanation, and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, and along with this hobby of machining, um, I just want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel. Uh, I'm almost up to a thousand subscribers, which uh, is quite amazing to me. Um, as you know, I'm just a hobbyist, not a machinist by trade. Um, I'm just learning this fast and as hard as I can and I really enjoy turning uh, over information that I've learned to the viewers out there. Um, I mean you have your pros like Tom Lipton and Adam and Keith Fenner and Mr. Pete and 
uh, those are the guys you really want to watch. Uh, they're the pros. They're the machinists. I'm the hobbyist, um, and uh, I'm learning and uh, doing my best and, and try to achieve and emulate the machinists. Uh, at the same time, I li really like uh, sharing the information with you guys. And that's why sometimes I don't show you actually my my work on during the machining. Um, one, it's a challenge for me to try to produce a, uh, work. And uh, there's better sources to actually watch machining. But I do like to try to pass on information as we go. And it is fun to show you guys. So anyway, uh, we're on a going on a field trip. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, again, thanks for watching and thanks for all the subscriptions. I've got a heck of a lot more new friends out there um, through this uh, through this medium. Okay. Hey guys, I'm over at my buddy's shop, and uh, he's uh, helping me uh, show this tool. Um, I've never used one before. This is my first time ever seeing it. I've seen it in my buddy's shop, and uh, I thought it would be of interest to everybody. Um, this is a optical comparator. The uh, manufacturer is a Sheer, Sheer Tomiko. It's an optical comparator. Um, give you a couple of views of it here. Um, this is the, uh, the model number. I don't know if that's going to come up uh, in it. Uh, an optical comparator is um, used uh, to compare drawings and or tooling uh, to exacting measurements. Um, again, I don't know a whole lot about these. I'm kind of excited to see see and try to explain this to you guys. But there's kind of a, a roundabout view of it. Um, what you have is a, uh, a light source here that's uh, projecting the light down onto the table. The table itself moves in an X and Y coordinates. So the table is adjustable. It moves in tenth of a thousandth. And the table also raises up and down with this lever here for focusing. So what occurs is the light goes through, it's shining on the part, and then there's a, a optical lens there below. And that lens projects down to a mirror and then the reflection comes back up, and what you see here is it's a shadow of the of the part that's up there. So you can see we have a fishtail set up on the table, and it's the large the large uh, V notch of the uh, fishtail. And here you can cut the glare there. You can see the fishtail and the uh, tool bit that's on the, on the table. And the, the lens that's sitting here, this, this lens right here, um, as you can see, I'm gonna move up close, it has, it's degreed around the perimeter, and then it also, on the lens itself, it's, it's degreed also. And so, it's, I don't know if this will focus, but as you can see right there, I think you can see that. That's a 60 degree line that's right here on the lens. And as you come down, you can see that that 60 degree line, which again is right here, is lining up with the fishtail. Um, and the, so you can, you can actually, I'm going to move it here so you can see that I can I can adjust I can adjust the table over that's in the X di di dimension so you can see that I can line it up with the with the uh, 60 degree line and I could do the same thing with the other the other the Y direction and then if you can also see here it's also dimensioned along the uh, the axis there so we can see that that part is a little over 110 thousandths from the V up to the uh, to the uh, top of the V. Um, so we're going to turn it over, turn the fishtail over, and show you the smaller the smaller section. As we were playing with this, we found that this actual uh, notch in the fishtail is is not uh, true. So uh, we'll be right back. While we're uh, changing the uh, fishtail out, there's uh, here's another lens that sits on the comparator, and the difference on this lens is it has 
two, two sides to it. One is a polar setup that you can measure angles with. And then the bottom side is you can see is set up with a grid pattern so that you could actually uh, do uh, 90 degree coordinates on it. And they're, they're both on a, on, a, on a 10 scale, 10 times scale. Okay, we're back uh, taking a look at this. So we've moved the fishtail. Um, we flipped it over so that we're in the small uh, 60 degree. Uh, and got it down on the comparator and earlier when we were doing this we really thought we saw an error and now that we're looking at it again it could just be a little bit of dirt because because of the magnification and I don't know if you can see this or not but I'm going to try so that you can but you can see again I'm going to try to move it a little bit here so you can see let's see if it'll focus so you can see me moving past the line there, and now bringing it back. Now this poor camera is focusing in and out. I'm going to take it past the line. Right there, it looks like we're right on the line, and now I'm just a little bit past. And bringing it back. So it looks like it's pretty much on the line, and if you can see up top here it tells us from the bottom of the V to the top of the V we have 50 thousandths uh, in depth. So pretty cool instrument for measuring. Uh, like I said I've never gotten to uh, seen one in use before. Now I want one. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I thought I'd share with everybody because it's, it's quite unique and something you don't see every day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, thank you to my buddy Carl for uh, pulling it out and, and showing it to us. Guys, uh, I, I thought we'd do one more setup, and I just wanted to correct something I said. I called the actual panel here the, a, 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 uh, lens. a lens, and it's actually a screen. So I wanted to clarify that. And so what we've done here, we've put a quarter 20 tap in the, uh, onto the table. And as you can see, we have a shadow down here, and a quarter 20 tap goes at 50 thousandths. So if we can, we're right here at the baseline on zero, and if we go up 50, uh, two, two teeth, there's 50 thousandths, and then we go up two, there's 100 thousandths, we go up two, 150 thousandths. And as you can see it as it goes on up, and we're right on the numbers, and then up top, you can see where the tap, uh, the, uh, uh, the taper on the tap starts to go away from the line. So it's just another another view of what this uh, what this tool can do. And you can see how large it is. This screen is is roughly about 18 inches, 16 inches across. That's 14. 14 inches across the screen. Um, and you can see, of course, the tap itself is only about two and a half, three inches. So you get really a nice exploded view. And to clarify also, the comparator is used for something you really can't measure with a micrometer um, because of the angular measurements. And that's where this tool really comes in handy. So again, uh, just wanted to follow up and clean up some of my uh, little bit of air and discussion and show you a little bit more. Okay, catch you soon.